Hey everyone, I have finished my second day of cleansing and uh, I just wanted to uh, talk through my experience of doing my Isogenics uh, two-day cleanse. So uh, what I did was yesterday morning I got up and I had my natural accelerator. I had uh, one of these tablets uh, and then I had a shot of my Ionix Supreme uh, and that gets the fire burning uh, and gets me started for the day uh, and then I mix two scoops of my cleanse for life powder uh, with a cup of water and that is my breakfast uh, and then I have this amazing little guide to refer to, which is so helpful. Uh, so then I had, uh, I had my Isoflush and with that I had two of my snacks. So I had two of these uh, chewy uh, bites and that was my snack and uh, with each bite, I uh, actually took my time chewing it and then I consciously counted to 100 before I uh, had the second bite, took my time chewing it and consciously counted to 100 and I felt quite full and satisfied. Uh, and then I had my second cleanse for life uh, drink and that was my lunch. Uh, and then I had two more snacks uh, as my afternoon tea uh, and then I had um, a third cleanse for life um, and that was like a late um, afternoon tea almost like maybe an appetizer before dinner um, and I had um, another two snacks so I ended up having six of these today uh, and that's what I'm allowed to have, which is brilliant. Uh, and then I went on a date. I went to the movies. Um, and I had my final uh, cleanse for life. Um, and it was the first time I've actually gone to the movies and not uh, bought a big packet of chips from the shops. Uh, it's the first time that I haven't uh, bought... A soft drink or popcorn or a choc top um, or gone to the shops and gotten like a big bottle of soft drinks so I feel incredibly proud of myself for actually getting through a full two days of cleansing so doing that routine um, so I came home and I'm in bed ready to go to sleep uh, so I finished my day with having my final um, natural accelerator for the day um, and having my final ISA flush for the day. Um, my consultant uh, was really helpful uh, with what to expect with a cleanse. Uh, so I knew to uh, expect maybe a slight headache, um, feeling a bit funny, a bit uneasy, uh, but then that feeling would pass. Uh, so I wasn't really surprised when I felt a bit tired um, yesterday and I wasn't really surprised when I felt tired today. Um, I wasn't really surprised when I was starting to get a little bit of a headache later um, in the day yesterday um, and I wasn't really surprised about having a slight, um, just a, you know, something is starting um, and I had an afternoon nap yesterday and I had an afternoon nap today so that really helped to get rid of the um, headache before it even started because I don't really like taking um, Panadol or aspirin or Nurofen unless I absolutely have to. Um, I really liked doing my cleanse days. I'm usually the kind of person that I start something but I don't ever finish it. Um, so I was incredibly proud of myself to actually finish not just one cleanse day but two cleanse days. Um, so that was pretty cool. I was at Beauty Expo yesterday in Melbourne uh, at the Melbourne Convention Exhibition Centre. Um, so hi to any uh, beauty therapists or skin specialists um, that were there. Um, it was an amazing event um, and I really hope it comes back next year. Um, 
and I didn't take enough water with me so I had to actually go to a kiosk um, in the macaque and buy water and usually when I go to an event I'll take a bit of cash with me and I'll buy food at the event like I just won't care um, and I didn't buy any food there was sushi there was gourmet sandwiches there was um, yogurt and muesli there was soft drinks and juice there was hot chips there was chicken burger veggie burger um, beef burger uh, ham and cheese croissant like amazing food but I just bought my water had my cleanse um, and enjoyed going to the expo and then I went to my first isogenics event last night which was a lot of fun um, learned um, a lot from that uh, and a lot of business things that I can take into uh, my job as a beauty therapist skin specialist uh, so I'm going to try some of the things that I learned last night and uh, see how I go uh, so make sure that you uh, tune in on Wednesday when I do my end of week one start of week to weigh in uh, and let you know how I have gone with my first week on the program. Um, I'm doing the 16 week, my first um, 16 week isobody challenge. Uh, so I will check in every Monday night, which is always going to be the day two of my cleanse days um, and let you know how I got through my cleanse uh, and then I'll check in with you uh, every Wednesday when I do my weigh-in. Um, so if you've got any questions, um, anything you want to know about what I experienced or what I felt, um, yes I am very well aware of this ugly little pimple um, but you know being a girl that's probably and being a skin specialist I know that this part of my face is hormonal um, and I do know that since starting Isogenics and uh, making a few changes in my lifestyles, my hormones are um, changing um, and regulating themselves. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that I'm getting a breakout here um, as well as changing what I'm eating and doing Isogenics. My body and my skin are going to work together to flush out so many toxins and so much rubbish. Uh, so I am uh, very much looking forward to seeing my skin uh, change. I'm really looking forward to the puffiness in my face going away. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the overall weight loss. So I will see you Wednesday morning for my weigh-in. Have a great night. And uh, yeah, comment below um, for any questions that you've got. Have a great night. Mwah. Bye.